and we're going to go over how to tie the single egg salmon fly. If you see me fishing out there, mention this video and I'll give you one of these flies to try on your own. I just did a live stream on this tonight in which I did about 12 to 15 of these. So if you want to check out the other two variants on how to tie this, check out the stream. It'll be linked in the description below. All right, first thing we're going to do here is get our hook in which tonight we're using a Gamakatsu octopus hook in size 6 in red color for this. The colors uh, come in red or black with these, and I also have another video which I'll link here on the screen on exactly why I like these hooks specifically. So first thing we're going to do here is get our hook in the jaws of our tying vise and secure it nice and tight. Next we're going to use our UTC Ultra Thread in orange. This is 140 denier, however you can get away with uh, 70 denier. We do a little jam knot about an eye and a half length behind the eye of the hook. I'm um, going to do about 10 turns there before snipping off our tag end and discarding our thread. So we're just going to neaten this up a little bit and then go about to the halfway point or a little bit further to the left or rearward of the halfway point for our tie-in. Next, we're going to get our favorite yarn, which is Glowbug yarn in orange cheese color. I love this color for the Salmon River and uh, pretty much any other fisheries. We're going to cut about an inch and a half off of this and uh, then we're going to lay it down here to add our uh, blood yolk. Our blood spot or hot spot or yolk, whatever you want to call it. For this we're going to use orange color and we're going to just lay that right on top of our our organ cheese, just like this. We're going to fold it around our thread and then we're going to uh, secure it to our hook. So we're going to make a loop here with it, go around the, our shank twice, and pull this up and cinch it down. So you want to give it a good tug here, but you don't want to pull the hook out of the vise or pull the material down the side of the hook like I just did there. So wanna, you want to sit it flat on the hook, and then you want to secure it with some figure eight wraps. Um, once you do a couple of these, I like to do some horizontal wraps around just the material, and uh, not the shank of the hook at all. Um, this just tightens up the material and makes it a little more secure. But when you do these, you want to make sure that you're still going uh, around the hook kind of to save your work if that makes any sense so you do that two or three times and and we'll be good to go and then this fly is just about done already um so there we go now we're going to use our whip finish tool if you don't know how to use these there's plenty of videos online check them out it makes tying uh flies really efficient and quick but we're just going to do five or six turns of this and we're going to do it twice, and then we'll uh, snip off the tag end here. Alright, now that we have that secure, we're going to cut off our thread here. And then we're going to trim our, our egg. So grab the clump that you have here, pull it straight up, and then go a short distance. I usually go a little bit less than the width of the hook gap. It's just trimmed straight across. So this is the hook gap. I like to go a little less than that. Um, and then it, it forms this plump uh, semicircle. So all, all we're going to do now is just uh, push it down and make it a full circle. And then we have our salmon fly. Simple as that.
next week we're going to cover how to tie a different variation of a salmon fly in which I'm going to cover how to do like an entire egg sack, but it's uh, imitation of course, and it's artificial and not real. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you next time.